Uh, Pierre Poliev, okay, I see your three-legged stool here to get that deficit eventually back in balance. Recovery means revenues go up, obligations from the federal purse go down, and you're going to limit government spending. Nowhere on that list, and I know this is consistent with everything you've said in the past, is a tax increase. Most people in this country, when you really scratch the surface, say somewhere down the road, you'll have to increase some tax somewhere if you want to get out of a $55.9 billion hole. Is, are they right? No, they're wrong. The right solution is for our economic action plan to lead to a recovery, as it is doing, for revenues to rebound, as they will, and for obligations that were brought on by the recession to disappear, and along with it, uh, to the deficit to decline. The final step, of course, will be to limit the growth in government spending to a level that permits a, bu uh, a budgetary balance. Okay. Almost out of time that, here, so let me get John McCallum plan, on this And that's too. the only plan that we've heard okay. today <coughs> in this debate. Okay, John McCallum, also, tax increases. We also are not going to raise taxes, but you asked about commitment to lower the deficit. And let me just tell you, when I first came to uh, become a liberal politician from the Royal Bank in 2000, I was astounded that the liberal and members of parliament are more hawkish on getting rid of deficit than the Bay Street bankers. So I can tell you we've lived through the uh, painful experience of the 90s. Can it and the be done without party, tax increases? And we are going to get it done. We are determined to do that as quickly as possible and no tax increases. And, and See, it, the, Wayne Marston, the taxes, the, the taxes that were cut by Mr. Harper prior to the beginning of this recession, the $14 billion that was taken out of the basic fundamental monies of this government, some of that has to be replaced irrespective of when this downturn ends, that's money that was taken out of the everyday operation. You don't hear people talking about the fact of putting some of that money back. They're talking about cutting services, and that's the line we've heard for years. Bill Robson, can you get there without raising any taxes at all? I think sooner or later we will see the GST go back up. Uh, but that's the only tax increase I would favor. I think that corporation taxes and, and taxes on individuals should continue to go down. Uh, because you want people to work, you want people to save, you want people to invest. Uh, it's on the consumption end where ultimately we're going to be getting that extra money. Linda McQuaig, 20 seconds. Well, it, it's not just about getting the deficit down. It's also about what kind of society we want to live on, what kind of programs we want to have. I mean, other countries have higher tax levels than we do, but have fabulous programs that we can't even dream of here. And, and you know, uh, early childhood education programs, national drug plans, all sorts of things. I think a lot of Canadians actually, when you scratch the surface, would prefer to pay a little more tax and have some of that stuff.